and welcome to week four of digital marketing and social media. Today, we'll be going over messaging strategies. So below you will see our week four learning objectives. In this week, we will learn how to communicate valuable information, describe brand awareness, explain why call to action buttons are effective, research how to communicate clear marketing messages, outline the most effective messaging strategies, analyze why focusing on clients matters in marketing, research the laws impacting texting campaigns, and list the top four companies that are using text messaging for marketing and describe their strategy. So let's dig in. Communicating valuable information via text. It's important to strike a balance between ease of communication and respect for boundaries. So some best practices for communicating valuable information via text are to offer another level of service, keep them short, be personal, limit frequency and ensure quality content, don't reply with just one word, offer short answer options, impart value, and ensure that they opt in. So let's look at those. Offer another level of service. An example of this would be alerting customers about their when their order is shipped or when it's gone out to, for delivery. Keep your short your messages short. No one likes having to be a text message that's more than a sentence or two. Be personal. Business owners have found that text messages text message marketing works best when the texts are customized and personal. Keep in mind that if you have a huge customer base, this may not be possible, but try whenever possible. Limit frequency and ensure quality content. People like using messaging to engage with their preferred brands and products, but if you pass a certain threshold where the user perceives they are receiving too many messages, then it can become an annoyance rather than an asset. Don't reply with one word. Give the person a good reply if they are texting with you. Offer short answer options. Avoid asking detailed questions through SMS. Ask questions that have simple answers of one to three words to ensure a faster reply. If a more detailed answer or information is needed, text and ask for a good time to call. Impart value. With power comes responsibility, and because a customer opted in, it's important not to portray that trust by spamming them. Ensure they opt in. Customers pr may provide you with their cell phone number at any point, but that doesn't mean they granted you the right to text them. There has to actually be consent. There's have actually been a lot of lawsuits resulting from text message advertising without permissions. So make sure they have always opted in. Describe brand awareness. Brand awareness represents how familiar your target audience is with your brand and how well they recognize it. Brands with high brand awareness are generally referred to as trending, buzzworthy, or simply popular. Establishing brand awareness is valuable when marketing and promoting your company and products, especially in the early stages of a business. In a world where customers rely on extensive research and others' op opinions before making a simple purchase, brand trust is everything. Once a consumer bonds to your brand, they're more likely to make repeat purchases with little to no forethought, which then bridges the gap between trust and loyalty. Call to action buttons. A call to action button or CTA buttons are the buttons you use in your website and on your landing pages to guide users towards your goal conversion. You can see a couple examples here on the screen. It's part of the landing page that the user needs to click on in order to take the action you want them to take. CTA buttons can vary in style and size depending on your goal conversion and website style. Some common examples of call to action buttons are add to cart, free trial sign up, and download buttons. They have a very specific goal, to get your web visitor clicking and completing a conversion. But why are they important? There's three main reasons, first of which is to motivate your sales funnel. Call to action buttons and sale funnels go hand in hand. The call to action serves as a transition between the phases of the buyer's journey. They instruct the user on what to do next, prompting them to take immediate action. Whether you want your visitor to visit your blog, give you their contact information, download an ebook or subscribe to an email list, you must provoke this action with a well-placed CTA button in the sales funnel. Secondly, customers want them. Many people depend on this call to action button at the end of the page to take the next step. They've read your ad copy, are interested in engaging with your brand and look for the CTA button to learn what to do next. Omitting that button can confuse readers and hurt your chances of stealing the conversion. 
CTA buttons make it easy for customers to do what you want them to do. That's good for you, it's good for the business, it's good for the customer. And lastly, CTA buttons boost the success of digital advertising. Digital advertising is all about generating hype about your product or service, grabbing the attention of the consumers and encouraging them to seal the deal. The call to action is missing the missing puzzle piece that emphasizes the power of the ad copy. Without that CTA, your copy messaging will fall flat. It won't have that final hook that inspires customers to take the next step. They are especially important in pay-per-click advertising. Adding a call to action to your pay-per-click campaign will help you convey the intent of the campaign to your audience. How to communicate clear marketing messages. So there's seven main steps here. Focus on solutions, aim at your target market, use headlines and subtitles, have a crystal clear message, try extreme marketing, offer a marketing hook, and leverage odd, leveraging odd items, shapes, and sizes. So let's look a little bit more in depth about these items here. Focus on solutions. Products and services that have a high demand get noticed early and often. Give your target market what they want or what they're interested in looking at. Offer something that shouts, I'm a problem solver or I'm a solution quickly and your message will get noticed. Aim at your target market. Marketing that doesn't hit its intended target is classified as a waste, inefficient or junk, as in junk mail. Marketing, marketing that does hit its target market, market is classified as interesting, effective, and efficient. Use head titles and headlines and subtitles. Make these titles provocative, thought-provoking, extreme, and completely unexpected. Number four, have a crystal clear message. Graphics can get attention, but don't let them overwhelm your marketing to the point where your message isn't being communicated. Try extreme marketing messaging. The truth is, extreme marketing works. Things that state the opposite, the negative and mistakes, get attention. An example of one of these headlines would be, how to run your company into the ground in one week. Number six, offer, mar offer a marketing hook. Simply put, the information is offered as an incentive for additional contact. This hooks a prospect, setting the stage for further communication. Here are a few examples of hooks. Call us today for a free mortgage loan calculator. Download a free recipe ebook that uses our spices and seasonings. And lastly, number seven, leverage odd item shapes and sizes. This is something to consider when you want your pieces to stand out from the crowd. You create something that's a different size or has a different tone or is otherwise outside the normal format. This includes odd shaped mailing, extreme colors or messaging, and you choosing unusual times at which to approach your target market, like talking about Christmas in the spring. The most effective messaging strategies. Um, when you're trying to do have a messaging strategy, you wanna make sure you're relevant, organized, explanatory, accurate, and grammatically correct. So let's dive into that a little bit more. Be relevant. Most forms of business communication are meant to achieve a, achieve a purpose. They must be purposeful. If you're responding to a communication, being relevant means that you're, you reply plump, promptly, use the mode of communication requested of you, and provide the information you've been asked to provide. Be organized. Most organized messages follow a basic three-step step structure. First, introduce the goal or purpose. Second, amplify the ideas and provide support, details and evidence. And third, conclude with a specific action step or a CTA, as we discussed earlier. Be explanatory. Many messages falter, not because people lack the knowledge base to communicate, but because they fail to dip into that base and share it with others. While it's important not to talk down to an audience, it's even more important not to, more, more important not to talk over their heads by assuming that the audience will know what you mean. Be accurate. Your message must contain sound, reliable, and current facts, statistics, and information. Otherwise, you and your message will not be taken seriously. And be grammatically correct. Knowing how to write a clear, concise, and descriptive sentence take practice, and so does avoiding some of the most common writing mistakes such as writing fragments, run-ons, non-parallel sentence structures, and using faulty punctuation. A message that has a misspelled word smacks of carelessness and casts doubt on the writer's consciousness. I know for a fact when I am looking at something and I see a grammar error or a spelling mistake, I automatically lose trust in the brand or the advertisement.
the importance of focusing on your clients. A repeat customer spends an average of 67% more than a new customer, which was according to a joint report by the BIA Advisory Services. In addition to that, the fact that attracting new customers is less profitable, it's also more challenging than ever. So there's three keys to customer-focused marketing. First one being catering to your customers' needs. It's important to create features in response to customer needs, but that's only half the battle. You'll never know if your customers are realizing the full potential value of your product unless you pay attention to their user behavior. Number two, increasing engagement and reducing churn rates. By working closely with your support team and monitoring online reviews, you can find more effective ways to offer value. When customers find your product more valuable now than when they first adopted, you'll dramatically reduce your churn rates. And three, increasing brand advocacy. Customers are an extremely valuable source for their brand referrals and organic promotion. However, they will only be willing to offer their value to you if you have a strong attachment to your brand. Laws impacting texting campaigns. So there's three primary organizations that weigh in on text marketing rules and regulations. CTIA, the Cellular Telecommunications Industry Association, FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, and MMA, Mobile Marketing Association. So the first thing that's important is to send a confirmation text when a new contract joins. So that would be the first step to take to make sure you're on the right side of the marketing law. When a new contract, contact subscribes to your marketing list, it is common best practice to send an automatic response. This response should include the name of your business, the type of message you will be sending, amount of messages you will be sending each month, a statement that no purchase is required, and lastly, a warning that the standard message and data rates apply. Um, and of course, you wanna include clear instructions on how to opt out. Secondly, you always wanna include the fine print when promoting your text list. So you wanna get in the habit of adding the following details everywhere when you post your keyword or allow people to sign up for your text or emails programs. You want to include the description of the program, the short code or phone number you will be sending from, the phrase message and data rates apply, a number of messages partic participants will receive, instructions on how to opt out, a link to your terms and conditions, privacy policy, and contact and support information. And then lastly, in order to stay on the right side of the marketing laws, you want to add fine print anywhere you are promoting your SMS text message. An example of this would be, by participating, you consent to receive text and email messages sent by an automatic telephone dialing system. Consent to these terms is not a condition of purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Text STOP to 12345 to cancel. Terms and conditions and privacy can be found at www.xyzexample.com forward slash terms forward slash. As you can tell, that was just an example. The phone number and website are not real. And then lastly, the top four companies using text messaging. So our top four companies are Subway, Jack in the Box, Nordstrom, and Facebook. Subway was one of the first brands that ventured into the SMS marketing space and saw exceptional success. Beginning their SMS campaign back in December of 2015, Subway now has over 5 million subscribers with an 85% retention rate, which is an excellent rate. Next, we have Jack in the Box. They have been using text marketing strategies for a few years now as a way of dis distancing themselves from a reliance on email. Jack in the Box sees SMS redemption rates for coupons and deals at three to five times higher than that of their email marketing campaign. Nordstrom has taken things a few steps further than others, and they have recently acquired two new retail technology companies called Bevy Up and Message Yes. Each of these acquisitions shows that Nordstrom's dedication to a seamless customer experience is part of and part of most marketing strategies entering today's digital economy. So it shows that they're really dedicated to the digital marketing. And then lastly, we have Facebook. Although they have their own dedicated messaging platform, even the social media giant can't ignore the power of SMS texting for helping businesses to succeed. 
This is why Facebook has announced that they are seeking to help small businesses establish digital marketing strategies using SMS text and Facebook messaging. Well, that's all we have for the week four learning objectives and the main content we'll be covering. I look forward to reading your discussions and assignments, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.